You can create, edit, and run XSL normalization rules, allowing you to manipulate metadata across all MARC-supported formats. This is useful for creating advanced normalization rules, such as resequencing the fields of the record to sort all the fields numerically. These rules can be applied to the records manually or in batch processing. XSL is a programming language that allows for powerful and advanced data manipulation. Therefore, this feature is disabled for most institutions by default. If you are aware of the risks and would like to enable XSL normalization, your administrators can do so. By default, all cataloger roles can create normalization rules. If your institution wants to disable this privilege for some roles, please contact Xlibris support. To create an XSL normalization rule, show the metadata editor. Open the Rules tab and click New Normalization. Provide a name and description for the rule. For type, select XSL. Optionally, share this rule with colleagues in your institution. Click Save. In the editor, enter the XSL code. We recommend composing it in a code editor of your choice and pasting here. This code, for example, resequences all the fields of the record numerically, regardless of field type. When done, click Save. The rule has been saved to our shared folder and has the XSL label. You can run it on a single record from here in the metadata editor or on a set of records by configuring and running a normalization process. Finally, a note to administrators. To enable XSL normalization rules for your institution, go to Alma Configuration, Resources, General, Other Settings. Find the Enable XSL Normalization Rules parameter and make sure it's true. Save. By default, all cataloger roles can create normalization rules as they have the Normalization Rules Enabled privilege. If you want to disable this privilege for some roles, please contact Xlibris support. Thanks for joining.